Hey, what's going on, Tribe? It's Red again, just hitting you guys up with another video. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. So this video is called Awakening. And like I said before, there's like three stages to awakening, should I say. Um, you experience a dark night of the soul, you have an ego death, and then you kind of get a glimpse of awakening, should I say. Um, hope everyone's doing okay during the retrograde, because it has been kicking my ass. yeah? Um, let me send you some... Blessings, peace, love, light, abundance, health, unity, oneness. Unconditional love. Um, yeah, so let's just get straight to it anyway. So, awakening is basically enlightenment, should I say. It's like teachings of the Buddha. Um, if you don't know about Buddha, check Buddha out. He's like Jesus to a certain degree, but just from a different region of the world, should I say. And each spiritual master had different um teachings to teach us basically but um the buddha is like some of his teachings not some of his teachings everyone has different teachings religions and blah 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 but it depends whatever resonates with you and basically enlightenment is basically non-attachment so non-attach non-attachment to the body the mind and circumstances feelings emotions all of that um it's basically become um yeah basically not having no attachment should i say so um sometimes we get controlled by emotions thoughts and our circumstances but teachings of the buddha say if you don't have no attachment to that there is no suffering should i say and our attachment brings suffering so if you're attached to certain things that brings more suffering so check out buddha and teachings of the buddha anyway but um so yeah um awakening is basically a glimpse of enlightenment should I say um, so let's just get straight to it anyway guys <laughs> anyway so once you've experienced a dark night of the soul should I say um, that's the road to healing should I say so you've just started to go down the rabbit hole so you're gonna be um, more stepping into your authentic self so um, instead of following the crowd you're gonna be standing in your own power should I say and doing things that more work for you so um yeah doing things more work for you and be more authentic and speaking your truth should i say and once you have an awakening there is less ego so your ego is less in control now and your you let your soul sh um take the reins instead of your ego so um yeah so you let your e um so there's less ego and your soul is more in control of the vessel now because the ego is like fucking driving the car and ain't got a driving license when the soul has got a license and is been here before and is experienced on the road, should I say. So your your um soul is in more control or you have a glimpse of it anyway, should I say. Um so after you have an awakening, um you see the world differently, should I say. Um for me, I started seeing colours, like colours are more vibrant. I could look at grass, flowers, plants, and I'd be like, wow, they're amazing. Um, and then you just start being more appreciative, like of, um, like I was saying, plants, animals, um, plants and animals, and having more respect for Mother Earth, should I say, for me anyway. It's like, yeah, fucking, like, before I just walk past a plant, like, oh, you a stupid plant or whatever. But now I'm like, raw, like, that the plant gives me oxygen and I need that to survive, should I say. So, um, yeah, starting to see the world differently and having um, be more connected with Mother Earth. Like now, I need to be more outside, like being connected to the Mother Earth. Like I've been grinding, before I went into grinding, earthing, should I say, and earthing is amazing. Um, all right, so after um, awakening, you start seeing people, people as your mirrors so in a way so when people are acting in a certain way you can you don't see them as oh yeah they're this you're you're more seeing what problems they have or what they're dealing with should i say so strange and um say for instance like me i used to be very impatient in it and since i woke up i've become more patient so when i see people being impatient i sit back and say i used to do that that i used to be like that 
you know, it's quite strange. It's quite, and it's quite cool as well. Like when people fucking are quite scattered, not scattered, like all over the place and unorganized, I could sit back and think, I used to be like that, you know? But then that's when their lesson, that's their lessons and they got stuff to work through. Um, so after you awaken as well, you start getting draw, um, more drawn to the arts. So like tarot cards, crystal healing, Reiki, manifesting, um, what else is there? Tai Chi, Qigong, yoga, all of that kind of stuff that kind of ties in, not ties in, but it kind of, it's just a part of the path. I don't know. It's just weird. I, when I work, when I awakened, should I say, I was just more drawn to it. And yeah, I just had, was just hungry for knowledge. And, um, yeah, I needed to, I was, I didn't re read much before, but as soon as I woke, I needed to read books, 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 seeking knowledge, conspiracy shit. Well, it's not even conspiracy shit, it's real shit, but the media like to say it's conspiracies. It's like, mm, bruv, yeah. So, and then after you awaken, you start seeing the matrix for what it is and what, like, you start seeing, watching the news and thinking, that's not true. That's fucking bullshit, mate. And then you start watching adverts and thinking, yeah, no, that don't seem quite right, mate. And things start adding up. Like, yeah, I'm not going too into depth of it, but you start waking up and seeing um, the system for what it really is. And that's why they're trying to dumb down the masses because once everyone wakes up, it's game over. It's the great awakening, but it's happening, but they're making it very hard and it's their last stand and they're not, go they're going, down without, they're not going down without a fight. So that's exactly what's happening. Um, so yeah, uh, after um, awakening as well, should I say, um, I was more drawn to animals. Like, I've always, like I liked animals, but listen, I've been attracting fucking bees, foxes, crows, birds, fucking cats. Every I've been attracting. Listen, I can communicate with animals. I swear to God, I was chilling. Um, I think it was on um, the winter solstice. I was chilling. The window was open. A moth come in my house, a big ass moth, and I managed to catch the fucking moth and jar the moth. I had holes in it so I could breathe. I caught a moth, I had a pet moth. I swear down, I had a pet moth. But that's like a sign of um, the butterfly, you know, chrysalis evolution, should I say. So I took that as a sign. And you start getting synchronicities as soon as you wake up as well. So you might be seeing numbers. Um, synchronicities, nothing's a coincidence and things will just start making sense to you like yeah I'm on the right path and things will just start working in your favour when you're on the right path when you're on the wrong path things will just not work for you like you'll be hitting, if you're going meant to be going somewhere and you're not meant to be going there, your soul knows, like you hit every red light, there'll be obstacles um, this and that but when you're on the right path, man will be hitting every green light, everything it just goes smooth, when you're on the right path Everything just goes smooth, I swear down. Um, so yeah, as, uh, after being drawn to animals, should I say, um, yeah, another thing is your third eye starts opening. So you start to see like the system for what it is. And um, yeah, so you, your third eye starts opening and then you start beginning to be able to channel and your superpowers be, um, begin to come online, should I say. Um, and then for me, uh, I started getting more drawn to the um, chakra system and finding out the chakras, reading about the chakras, kundalini, all of that. And um, yeah, it all, it all ties in. All of this stuff all ties in. Um, and then thinking, when you find out the chakras, you find out where you're balanced and unbal unbalanced and what work you need to do on, what work you need to, what chakras need work done and where you have blockages and imbalances and overactive and in it overactive chakras and underactive chakras should I say so that's um, good to check out your chakra system guys um, and then another thing is um, once you awaken you start thinking outside of the box like the masses and stuff they like to think inside the box like 3d like just basic shit but once you awaken you think outside the box you start thinking for yourself should I say which is great because but I've always been like that but a lot of people when I see people wake up I'm like ah I see where I see I see what's happened. I know what's happened because I'm an empath as well and I can read energy. So I'm like, ah, something shifted in you. You've changed, and they don't even know what's happened, but I know. <laughs> um, uh, Alright, cool. So you start thinking outside the box. 
and then all your life lessons that you've been through, all your hardship, um, everything that you've been through has forced you, to, not, yeah, has a for, has forced you and led you to awaken because it's, you're, you're a chosen one, in it? Like, and you've chosen to wake up. Your soul, that's your soul's mission. Your soul wanted you to wake up to achieve um, a lot in this lifetime because you've got people like the masses, should I say, they go through a whole lifetime without even knowing who the fuck they are. Just get up, go to work, get a house, get married, and they don't even know who they are. It's just control. It's like, and they're like robots. But when you awaken, you start doing the inner work and start finding out who the fuck you are and what the fuck you lack, like, you know? So all, all your life lessons has, has led you to this moment right now. And, um, yeah. Once you awaken, you know that you're unique, you're your own person and um, you matter and you make it even just by waking up in the morning, you make a difference to the planet. You just make a difference. It's just, yeah, it's just a part of your calling, man. And then another thing after awakening, um, you want to find out who you are and what your life purpose is. Like what, when I woke up, I was like, wow. Like, what have I been doing for years? What the fuck is my purpose? What am I doing here? Um, like, yeah, I can't just be getting up and just doing this basic day-to-day -day shit. Fucking, yeah, hung Like, life was just to totally different. So I needed to find my purpose. So then, obviously, when you start doing... I start going down the healing route um, and diving into that so yeah that's where my calling is anyway and once you find your life purpose you just know it just sits with you like being a healer here to help others animals help the planet and blah 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 and listen these times sometimes when i'm in the park doing my grinding i start picking up rubbish and shit from the fucking <laughs> from, from the park and that because i love mother earth but before like i used to not be a litter bug but yeah i did used to litter but now i'm more conscious of it like no i can't do that man that's fucking like where's the plastic going and shit like yeah you've got to start taking more care of your environment and shit um so yeah you find you eventually start finding your life purpose and shit and then you start after you start doing some digging should i say <clears throat> And then once you awaken, you start wanting to become your best version of yourself. So things that were holding you back, people, places, um, things, should I say, they no longer resonate and sit with you. So you start trying to think of how to how you can change them things um, and what no longer serves you. Because um, once you awaken, your old life is basically done um, and you can't really go back, which is, it's not a bad thing. But some people think they want to live in that life. And, um, yeah, once you awaken, that life is no more. Um, which is... It's a good thing. It's a good thing. But it's quite sad if you've got attachment to that old life. That old life that's keeping you stuck. Some people want that still. And it's like, there's more. Um, so once you awaken, you start wanting to become the best version of yourself. And you start merging with your higher self. Um, once your third eye is open and your crown chakra is open, you can start um, becoming your higher self more. So certain, yeah, you start planning for, you start doing little steps to become a better person. Should I say like, I don't know, start being more disciplined, meditating, exercising more, eating better. You start becoming more self-aware, more conscious, should I say. That's the whole thing, man, it's about waking and you become more conscious, not sleeping, yeah? Um, so like I said, there's yeah, there's no going back, man. It's like Al Alice down the fucking rabbit hole and Neo from the Matrix, man. Once you take that fucking blue or red pill, there ain't no going back, man. Um, so yeah. Um, and when once you awaken, you still get uh, you still have down days and shit, but they're not as down as they used to be for me anyway. Um, because I've been practicing non-attachment and. Yeah, you just see there's lessons in whatever you're going through. Not, oh yeah, poor me. And you start stop being the victim and you start being the victor, should I say. So whatever you're going through, you learn to um, process it, should I say. And things come up once you start awakening. You start healing emotions, um, thoughts and stuff. And you don't run from them. Like, they might be painful, but you learn to sit with them and process it. Because um, that's the whole thing of... Once you become a, um, once you start the journey, it's about sitting with it and feeling. That's the whole fit. That's the whole point of being human to feel. Because once you try not to feel, you're just blocking it out, and that causes more blockages and more harm in the long run. Um, because 
when things come up to be felt and recognised, if you're just neglecting them, they're going to just eat you alive and you start actually getting physical problems. Once there's a blockage in the chakra, if it's there for so long, it becomes a physical symptom. Um, yeah. And, yeah, once you start, uh, once you awaken, um, you can start to channel, you start beginning to channel and you might start having um, lucid dreams. Um, you might start... Um, hearing not him you can hear stuff it depends how um attuned you are and how your energy is and how ready you are um you can start hearing higher beings um you can connect with um your ancestors um you can connect with past loved ones you can connect with um your intuition starts coming more online and you can start you just start feeling stuff should i say man yeah it's really it's it's it's, it's a journey in itself but you that's like the awakening should i say because yeah after years of practice you can stay fully awake and you're just centered centered most of the time but you still dive in and out because the ego is still there you cannot kill the ego um and the ego likes to pop back up thinking it still runs shit but it don't run shit um so yeah you still um can get sidetracked off the path but then you still learn to come back to center um eventually anyway um, but also, yeah, if you're just beginning to awaken, you're going to have little glimmers of this. It's, it might not all come, um, to you at once. It might, um, if it does, it might shake you up a little bit. But, um, if you're awakening, this was just like some of my experience anyway. So if you're, um, you guys experiences was different, hit the comments below and let me know how your awakening was. And, um... Yeah, man, it's it's all a part of the journey, and it's it's great. Yeah, it's great, man. Cause that old life, that three D shit is um. Yeah, that's basic, man. When you're unconscious to conscious, it's you see the world differently. Yeah, the world is a good place. It's great, even though there's a lot of shit going on. Yeah, life is good. Life is good. Life is a blessing, man. But um, yeah, man. If you like the video, guys, like, share, subscribe, hit that little bell thingy, so when I do a little video, you guys get hit hit up. Um, and yeah, make sure you're taking care of yourself in this time, man, because the retrograde is fucking murdering us. Um, the government's trying to murder, murder us. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of things going on right about now, but make sure you're looking after yourself, um, getting hella rest, staying hydrated, and taking care of yourself, man. Peace, love, and light, guys, and stay tuned because I'll be hitting you guys up with another video real soon. Blessings.